three, lesson seven, so entire and mixed radicals part two. So now we're kind of also throwing in cube roots, okay? The thing with cube roots is, is that we're taking out, we want to take out perfect cubes now. So we want to look for these numbers when you're breaking down perfect cubes, not perfect squares. So when we did the ones in our warm-up, we are looking for perfect squares. So for example, um, let's just do this one here, okay, 54 breaks down to what? 27 times 2. Remember, we're doing a cube roots, right? 27 is on my cube, perfect cube list. So it's the same process, it's just a different set of perfect cubes, right? So there's not anything that's like drastically different. You're still looking for a certain number that multiplies by itself three times, like just like we were doing, but they're just a little different set of numbers is all. So um, this is a good chart here again to kind of have, I wouldn't say memorized, but be familiar with. So those numbers you look towards when you're trying to do perfect cubes. I will say most of the time on your tests and quizzes and whatnot, very rarely will you see one bigger than 64 because when you start getting this big, things get kind of out of control in terms of how big they are. Okay, so then just like our normal rules, we can break this up to cube root 27 times cube root 2. Cube root 27 is 3. You can figure that out too, but put in your calculator, but it is 3. Um, because another reason I want to show you, too, I was thinking about this yesterday, and I was trying to think of ways to help you guys understand this a little better. 3 cubed is 27, right? And then cube root and cube are opposites, right? And so then those cancel. So 3. Another way you can think about it. Okay, 27 can be written. 27 can be written as 3 cubed. The cube root of 3 cubed just cancels a cube, and it's 3. Okay, so cube root of uh, 54 is 3 cube root 2. 3 cube root 2. Okay, questions on the cubes yet? Oh, you guys got my quiet crew. Nothing yet? All right, let's just keep going and see if we find some problems here in a second. All right, so what's that? I wasn't talking to you, Mr. Baker. All right, 6,000. So which one off your list jumps out? 1,000, right? It's that 1,000 at the bottom. So you want to go 1,000 times 6. Okay, that's the biggest one. I know it's the biggest one because there's no perfect cubes that go into 6. Why do I know that? Because the smallest perfect cubed is what? Besides 1. 8. So 6 is not, is, is not going to be able to, I can't break 6 down. So 1,000 comes out as a what? 10. Good. Cube root 6. <coughs> okay. All right. So fifth root now. We don't have a fifth root list. Okay. But let's go ahead and just try to be, kind of maybe make an educated guess. What is 2 to the 5th? 32. So 32, does 32 go into 320? Yes. 32 times 10. Okay. This right here, 5th roots. Okay, I understand. But you're just going to have to kind of do a little guess and check there. Just kind of be like, okay, I need to figure out something that's a 5th root that goes into 320. Okay, start with the small ones. Like we start with 2. That's the first one we tried. It was the 1. Okay, so the 32 comes out as a what? A 2. That's the point. 2, 5th root, 10. That's the 5th root. Okay. Can we have negatives in the radical? No. For odds? Yes. 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 Odds you can, evens you can. Okay. All the ones on this page, for example, are all odds, so negatives are okay. Remember, odds are okay because... We can go negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, and I can get a negative 8 on that. So that's okay. Okay, so anyways, I want to break this down to negative 8 times 2. Okay, so negative 8 comes out as a negative 2 cube root 2. Okay, or if you want me to be a little bit more specific, negative 8 cube rooted times Q 
cube root of 2. The negative 8 cube rooted is negative 2. All right. Okay. Converting mixed radicals with an index 3 or greater. Okay, so we're doing mixed radicals 3 or greater. So complete the following to convert 1 half cubed into an entire radical. So we're pushing stuff in. So all you have to know is the index. Okay, so 1 half, if I'm pushing this in, 1 half, I have to do what to it? What's the opposite of cube rooting? Cubing. <laughs> okay, I have to take 1 half cubed, which gives me, remember, what's 1 cubed? 1, 2 cubed, 8. So it's going to be a 1 over 8 here. Are we okay? Okay, so then I'm going to go 1 over 8 times one times 80. Whenever you times something that's a 1 over, that's the same thing as dividing it by the bottom number. So what's 80 divided by 8? 10. So this is going to be cube root 10, cube root 10. That's where you leave it. Okay. All right. Example two. Convert the following mixed radicals to entire radicals. So here we go. So let's jump around here. Get out of Malia. Alex. So the two. I push that in. What do I have to do to it? To the fourth. Yeah, 2 to the 4th times 3 is what's going to be inside. Okay, 16, thank you. And then what's 16 times 3? 48, oh boy. 4th root of 48. That's a good guess. Okay, good. Chris, negative 4. Root, uh, cube root 7. So what do I want to do? Okay, so you negative 4 cubed times 7, and that was negative 64 times 7, and what's that? Uh, negative 448. Very good. Oh, got to make sure I get my cube root, sorry. Cube, cube, cube. Good. All right, breezy. C, two-fifths. Okay, we want to keep it in fraction. So you're going to cube the two fifths. So what's two cubed? Eight. Eight. What's five cubed? What's five times five times five? Twenty-five times five. Good. Okay, and I have a hundred here. Okay, so this right here. The 8 over 125 is 2 fifths cubed to put it inside there. Okay, and so then I'm going to have 8 over 125 times 100, and that's going to simplify down to when you do the convert, like the simplifications, to 32 over 5. The index um, in your calculator, probably the best way to do it would be parentheses like that, and then hit once you hit enter hit fraction to make it go back to a fraction from the decimal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, and Tatum, D? Good. Times the 2. And what's negative 3 to the 4th? Good. Positive, right? Okay, times 2. And what's that? Perfect. Good, good. All right. Okay, so extension. Yes, ma'am? Oh, yeah, she told me. Thank you. Okay. All right. So extensions. Now we're talking about having variables in there. Now, the variables, I know it's going to freak you out because we hate variables, but you just got to follow your rules. Okay? What I mean by that is this. See right here, x3 times x3 from our exponent rules is x6. Remember we add? 3 plus 3. So then, do you guys understand, 
from our Math 9. She had a good Math 9 teacher. Okay. Your x3 squared was what? x6. x6. Do you see the connection? So if I put this in a radical, what happens to the 2? Cancels. Squaring in a square root, right? So, or another way you can do this is that this is a 2 here, right? What is 6 divided by 2? 3. So it's x3. Are you seeing all the connections I'm making here? Not really? Okay, so do you have pairs of x3s? Yeah. When we have two of them, that means it's a perfect square, right? Yeah. So if I say, what's the square root of x6? Well, that's x3 because two of them make an x6. Okay? And so the other thing I was saying was, um, I could also write this as x cubed squared. I could, that's the same thing. And if I square root that, that cancels the square, which shows you again that the square root of x6 is x3. Okay, we'll keep doing some. So like here, I have 1, 2, 3, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. I'm cube rooting. Again, I told you you can also do 15 divided by 3, which is 5. Yep. Okay. All right, so then let's stay on this here. Taylor, so what would be this one? What's 4 divided by 2? So it would be x2, right? Okay, Josie, the y10, y5. Okay, back over to you, Brandon. This one, there's two of them. You just do them both. So, yep, a4, b3, good. Okay, Mike, uh, that a boy, x8. Okay, and Xander, y2, good. Okay, and cube. So 6 divided by 3, 2. Okay, remember, the index tells you what groups of that. Okay, Let's, I want to do one illustration. I'll just do it one time. Let's do it for the last one since there was a question on that. There's six Y's, right? There's six of them. This means I want groups of three. So then what we're saying is, how many groups of three are there? Two. That's essentially what we're doing. Okay? And we're using division, we're using our math sense, our number sense to figure that out. So we're going six divided by three. So I'm dividing how many groups of three are in six? That's what division is. Okay? Alright, cool. So then X five. So now what what would happen if we have an odd now? All of those all the ones we just did were nice and clean. But this one, it's not. What's 5 divided by 2? 2.5. Now, you guys said that, and since I, you said that, I'm going to teach you something. The point 0.5 means 1's left inside. We can only have 2 left inside. Why can't we have 2 left inside? Exactly. It'd come out, right? So you said that's 2.5, so you, your answer would be 2 with 1 left inside. The point 0.5 is that guy that got left behind. He doesn't have a partner. Okay. Does anybody want some further clarification on that? So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. The 0.5 is the person who's left behind and doesn't have a partner all along. What's that? Sure, yeah. Every one of them, every two get out as one, yes. Yep. Okay, so then our answer here is 2 root x, or excuse me, x2, not 2. x2 root x. Okay. Oh, I did that on the other one too, didn't I? Sorry. Okay. All right, so let's practice these ones down here. Got some, Josie? Yeah, it's x squared, not 2, it's an x2. All right, so where are we, Josh? A7. Square rooting an A7, what would that make? An A3 come out, and what? Like, what's 7 divided by 2? So the point 0.5 is the what? That's left in? Yeah, the A left inside. Got it? Okay. Allie, T9. 
T4 with a T left inside, because 9 divided by 2, 4.5. Here's my 4. Here's my left out, 0.5. Okay, Chris? Cube root. So now we look for groups of what? 3. So how many times is 5 divided by 3? Okay, so 1.67. So now you're probably saying, well, wait, how, how do I know how many is left in? Well, what's 0. 0.67 as a fraction? 2 over 3. That's how many is left in. 2. 2 of the 3 are left in. Okay? Another way you can think about this is I took 3 out of the 5. There's 2 left. Okay? So you're going to have an x out and x squared in. Okay, so questions on that? 5 over 3. Yeah, 5 divided by 3. And that's 1.6, because now we're talking about a cube. <laughs> yeah, the cubes make things a little bit different. The cubes aren't nice and it's friendly, because with the, with the squares, you're pretty much just going to have one left in or one not left in. With the cubes, you can have one left in or two left in. Right? And so that's the difference. So, like, my question I'd say to you is, if you do, if you, even if you want to do it this way, there's five of them. Here's, I only have one group of three. Those two guys are left behind. Sure, go for it. Whatever works better for you. Well, then you might want to remember. <laughs> there's 24. Remember, but, Mike, your only option is two or one, Right? So let's say, let's just do one here off script here. So let's do cube root of x, let's say 20, no, let's go 34. Okay? What's the, okay, so does 3 go into 34? No. What's the closest thing below 34 that 33 goes, that 3 goes into? 30, nope, 33. Right? So, that would make, what's 33 divided by 3? 11. So what I'm saying is, this equals 34, right? Yes. The 33 comes out as 11. What's left inside? The 1x. Okay. okay? So that you can just group it that way too, even with the big numbers. Okay? All right. And where were we? We were to Alex, I think. This one? Yeah. Yep. What's that one? Right, so x to the 6 and then an x. And then what's the x to the 6 come out as? x2. x2. Good. Very good. You see how she did that? She broke it up into an x6 times an x1, which is x7. This is two groups of three, so that's an x2 out with an x left inside. Very good. Okay, now we have a couple pairs. Okay, Molly? X, what's this one break down to? Just do one at a time. And it's back to square rooting. X3. With what? Y inside. X3, Y2 with a Y inside. Because the Y had an odd. Okay, the x had an even, so it was nice and easy. Okay, now they're doing numbers and variables. So we need to break down the 18, like we've been doing our warm-up, and we have to do the x3. Okay, Tatum, you want to try what's the 18 break down to? What's the perfect square that goes into 18? 9. Okay, good. What's the 9 come out as? Okay. And then in the x, what happens to the x? 3. What's 3 divided by 2? 2. So that means an x1 comes out, and the 0. 0.5 means what? Good. Does that make sense? Right? There's a good combo problem. So we broke down the 18. The 9 came out as a 3. I have two. I took two of the x's out as a 1, okay, and I had one left over. Okay, so remember, whenever you have an odd, okay, whenever you have an odd, you're going to have one left over for the evens, whenever you're square rooting, every time. 
See here, we had a five, we had one left. We had a three, we had one left. We had a nine, we had one left. Seven, one, every time you have an odd, one will be left over. Okay, 32, Breezy, what's 32 break down to? 16 times 2. Okay, good. What's the 16 come out as? 4. Okay, so I have a 4 out, and then I have a 2 in. Okay, why 7? Is that odd or even? Okay, so then what's coming out? Good. And then what's left in? Good. And then Z8? Comes, does it come out cleanly, or is there one left over? Good. Cleanly. Z4. Okay, so that's, sorry, that's Y3, Z4 there. Y3, Z4. Very good. All right. Okay. So, Taylor, what perfect cube goes into 40? Nope, perfect cube. Yeah, on the front page. Yep, eight. So it's eight times five. Okay, good. And then what's the what's the perfect cube of eight? Like what's uh, it's like right next to it? No, it's a two. Oh, two. See what I'm saying? The perfect cube of eight. It comes out as a two. Okay, and then so that's good. So we have a five in here. Okay, so what is a four? How many groups of three are in four? How many? One group of three is in a group of four. So I mean what that is, I have four X's. I can only take one group out, and I have one left in. Yep. Nine. Josie, how many, how many groups of three are in nine? Three. So I'm, it's all the way out cleanly, right? So that's your answer there. 2xy cubed, root 5x. What's that? This one? Is it cubed? No, because I took out one group. So one group of three make a one. Right? See, this one you just did, there was nine of them. So I had three groups of three, so that's why I keep it a three. Yeah. The uh, here. Yeah. Good. Good details. All right. Last set of examples, and then I'll let you guys have some time to work on your project slash portfolio. Uh oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh. I was good. No, it's back up. I was good. I think it clicked down again. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so now we're, oh, no. Okay, so now we're going to go on. We're making an entire radical. So we're making an entire, so we're going backwards, doing our same stuff, okay? So we're still going to do what to the two here, Brandon? To push it in. What are we going to do to it? Square it. Square it, because we're pushing it in. So it's 2 squared times x cubed. 2 squared is 4. x cubed stays x cubed. So right here is your entire radical. Okay. Mike, the A2. I'm pushing it into a square root. So what am I going to do to it? Okay. So A2 squared times A. What's A2 squared? Okay. And then A4 times A1. A5. Good. Okay. Xander, pushing in an X5 into a square root. Not 25. 5 times 2. Yeah, 10. So I have an X10, an X, and a Y. So what's that end up being? Yeah. 11, Y. Holy moly. <laughs> A 
Well, good thing we're almost done. Okay, so this one, we're going to push it all in. So what's going to happen is the 3 is going to be cubed, the x is going to be cubed, and the y cubed is going to be cubed with a 2 and a z4. <laughs> all this, whoo, under the radical. Getting crazy talk. Oh, uh, I didn't do anything confusing. No, it's going to be, you have to do this. No, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's overwhelming. There you go, it's painful, yes. Not hard, well, yeah. Okay, so here we go, let's go through and do all this stuff. So 3 cubes, 27. I have a 2 in there, so that's, what's 27 times 2? Not quite. 54. Did you say 50? Oh, I thought you said 30, sorry. X cubed, and there's no other X's, so it stays X cubed. Y cubed cubed is 3 times 3, that's a 9, with a Z4. That's it. That's all it is. All right. Question? The 3 cubed is 27 times 2. There's a 2 here. That's all right. It's a great question. All right, let me stop this here.